Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation. We want to take a few moments and go through Psalm chapter 78 this morning. And I uh, hope it will be a blessing to you. We're going to talk about reaching the next generation. Um, I really feel like the problems we have in America today are because uh, churches have really failed to reach the next generation. And uh, I believe Psalm 78 gives us some hope and a godly formula for helping to reach that next generation and to see some great revival happen in America. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline thy ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and have known and our fathers have told us. We will not hide them from their children showing them to the generation to come the praise of the Lord and His strength and His wonderful works that He hath done. And I want to stop there for this morning and just give you a couple of thoughts. Uh, Consulate be encouraging people with the Word of God and taking time to uh, write things down in a journal for yourself, what the Lord's teaching you, how He's blessed you, and share those blessings it's not this idea of corporate Christianity versus personal Christianity. No, there's only one type of Christianity, and that's following the Lord Jesus Christ in church, out of church, uh, all the time, great testimony for the Lord. Each generation has a responsibility to help the next generation. First of all, I see in Psalm chapter 78 a remembrance of truth, a remembrance of uh, I know our young people are being instructed in institutions today and in colleges and schools about evolution. But Christian, we need to praise, as Psalm 19 does, the creation of the world and take the time to explain that and explain it as fact, not fiction. What we believe has more fact behind it uh, than evolution has. And uh, evolution was written by a bitter man who was bitter at God for his 12-year-old uh, daughter dying of disease. And uh, People need to understand that Darwinianism is a uh, false belief system. It's a narrative that can only be supported because one generation tells the next generation that it's a scientific fact. And uh, Second Timothy says science falsely so-called. Let's make sure that we share the story of creation, the facts that God has given us, and share them with uh, the truth and love so that the next generation will remember that it's God that uh, created them and created them for a purpose, and that purpose is to praise and glorify Him. Uh, we not only see a remembrance of truth, we see in uh, verse 4 through 6 a revelation of truth. So we have a remembrance but a revelation just because someone doesn't believe it the truth, it's no less the truth. Take the time to share your faith constantly. Take the time to share the Word of God. Share what you learned on Sunday uh, from a message. Encourage people. Write Bible verses down. Uh, keep a, a journal of your own walk with God. Encourage yourself that way. The Bible says that when David was at one of his lowest points because he had made some bad decisions, he encouraged himself in the Lord. And go back and share with your children, your grandchildren, how encouraging uh, your Christian life has been and what a blessing it's been, how it's guided and directed you. We not only see the remembrance and the revelation, but we see the results of the truth. And... Uh, Boy, that's something that every single one of us as a Christian ought to want to share with other people. The results. The Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Uh, and usually that's presented in a negative way, but there's a positive way. It says, he that soweth to the Spirit shall reap of the Spirit. And uh, as we come into the harvest time here in the fall, as uh, corn's coming in here in late August, and all the different things. Realize that one kernel of corn, you'll get three years of corn and about 350 kernels. What if we're planting a remembrance of the Lord, a revelation of the Lord, and sharing the results of serving the Lord, planting those seeds so they can produce fruit in the next generation. God bless you and have a wonderful day.